And now, I've got the swinging arm to do. Um, customer bought in a U swinging arm, so we're going to change this one out. Uh, the hassle I've got now is trying to raise the bike. Um, so we can't use the paddock stand because we won't be able to get this out. And the paddock stand is going to sit on the end of these arms. So I've got to find a way now to raise the motorcycle, uh, not on the suspension obviously, um, and somewhere else. Uh, so we can take the rear swinging arm off, rear wheel, and whatever else we need to take off. Now I need to undo this um, hex bolt, it's got a pinch bolt on there. So I don't have a tool for taking this um, big hex out. So uh, I'm going to have to make a tool. I've got a box of variety of nuts. Uh, I managed to find a nut that fits in there. So you're going to make a tool. So nut fits in there perfectly. Um, obviously I can't undo that with a nut. I found uh, this is a VW hub nut bolt. Just screw in there. Um, it's quite a shallow nut, so I have to see how far I can screw this bolt in before it starts pulling the, the nut out. Sorry about that chirping, it's that bloody alarm. Um, right, so that's as far as I can go in. So I'm going to come back a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is weld that up. Tool made, stick a socket on there, we can undo that hex nut to pull the, the spindle out. Uh, the replacement one came out with a spindle and a socket, so you can see what it looks like. So the tool will go in there and do the end nut, which is here. It's a pinch. There's a pinch bolt on both sides, uh, so we'll undo this pinch bolt so we can undo the nut, and the bolt will be held in with the other pinch bolt, so you don't have to hold both sides. Uh, and then once that's free, we can punch it out. Right, so I'm going to go weld that, and then we'll come back and try and assess how we're going to lift this. Okay, I've got both sides strapped down, so the front's not moving, it's not going anywhere. I've used my modified car jack, so I've lifted it up from the frame here. That pulls off the ground. Everything at the back's free. Uh, I contemplated about taking the exhaust off, um, which is just bolted here in the centre, but it's not in my way. These are the only two bolts I need to get to, the, the upper one and the lower one. And then the swinging arm is free to come out. So we're going to start with um, releasing the brake lines off, off the swinging arm, uh, take the caliper off, get the wheel off, and then we can worry about the rest of the bits. Okay, new tool made. We'll call this um, HON001. Fits. Got a socket. Okay, we need to undo the pinch belt. Putting this carrying on unless we know this works. <laughs> Need a big bar. Okay, we know it works. I'm just going to leave that in there. So I'm going to loosen up these two 17mm um, bolts. 17 this side, 14 the other.
So in order to get the swinging arm off, we have a chain running through the center of it. So we need to get the chain off. Uh, thankfully it's in for chainless sprockets. We use DID uh, chains. We believe they're the best chains you can get. Uh, there are other brands out there. Um, so I might say they're as good or better, but we believe these are the best. They're not a sponsor, um, but they could be. Um, so that's the chain in there. Rookie mistake, I normally leave the wheel on before I undo the front sprocket because it gives me something to hold on to whilst we're gunning the front off. Um, I forgot, so uh, we're changing the swinging arm anyway, so I'm just going to jam the screwdriver in here, hold the chain in place, we'll take the front cover off, just gun off the bolt. If you watched one of my videos before, you see when I do a chain, we don't bother taking the rivets out. We just use this cutter to cut them clean off. take seconds. Okay, sprocket off. Let's get him away. Okay, so we've undone the bolts at the bottom, so we know the bottom's free. So swinging arms free just this main bolt holding it in now. So I'll undo the pinch bolt, see if we can punch that bolt out. There we go, one swinging arm off. I don't know if you can see that, that's where the damage was. But the customer went down, I think he went down on track and caused this damage. So every time he got on it, he could see that because most people get on their bike from this side. So um, he was sick and tired of seeing it. So we've got the new one to go on, well, new used one. Pinched up. I'm going to um, clamp up the pinch box on the other end. That will grip the, the bar, and then we can tighten up on this.
I hope you enjoyed this video of this CBR 900. We're using for a service, valve clearance check and adjust, uh, rear swing and arm chain sprockets. Um, as always, if you enjoyed these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe button, bell notifications, and notify next time I upload a video. Take care, guys.